Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Bubble Inferno VR. Now I have played this once before just to make sure I knew what the heck I was doing. My top score was only 44. Not very good, I don't think at least. This game is a 2D side scroller as you can see. You can look ahead a little bit as stuff is generated. The levels are randomly generated and I think it goes on forever so you can just keep getting better and better scores. Something that will probably have a decent replay value trying to beat your scores or your friend's scores. This game was originally on the App Store for Apple, Android, and Windows phones, but it was converted to the Oculus Rift as you guys can see. Alrighty, so right off the bat you do have to collect these little bubble things. They keep you alive. If you do not collect them, you will shrink until you eventually pop and lose. So if I can not die here while I'm explaining how to play this, you can look to the right to see what's coming up. It is kind of weird that, oh, it is kind of weird that it only generates right there. It would be cool if it generated quite a far down the path there, but oh well, at least I can see what's forward coming up. Guess we're going to have to skip that one. Come on, whoo, that was close. <laughs> we got some really ugly birds. This game does have some similarities to uh, Floppy Bird, which I never really played. I played once or twice. I sucked at it really bad and quit playing. This game is noticeably easier. Got some weird creatures here. Stuff throwing nuts at me. Watch out for the acorns. So pretty much if you hit anything, you will die. If you do not collect the bubbles, you will die. Using a controller does this make, does make this a lot easier. So I don't think your score is displayed anywhere until you die. So you just kind of have to keep playing until you die. Whoa, I need that. Okay, here we go. Like I said, this is randomly generated and it does go on forever. So essentially you could get an infinite score, which I highly doubt I will get. Looks like we got some spike. Oh crap! Well, 102. That's what I get for looking forward. I guess that is a disadvantage of being able to look around. You tend to forget to pay attention. But anyway, let's try this one more time here. So this is a simple game, and it is something quite different from your usual DK2 games being a, a side scroller but it is really cool i've played side scrollers before and a lot of people thought they just wouldn't work in the rift and they actually do work pretty good it would be really neat to see a mario game but haven't seen that one yet so already you can see some different terrain let's go ahead and fly Oh, that was close. I did not realize that's the top of the screen there. I thought it could go higher. Let's go up and down. The 3D actually looks pretty good where it is that you can see that there is a difference in scale there. Oh, and I missed the bubble. <laughs> These uh, brown hogs or whatever the hell <laughs> they are are funny as hell throwing freaking acorns at me, jumping up in the air, a little buck tooth. These little guys running around, let's zoom down here. Oh, that was close. All right, here we are back to the, well not back to, but the same, I guess, randomly generated area. Now I hope the smoke don't hurt me. Good. And this is interesting. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, that was close. Now, I, I'm not sure if it gets harder since it's randomly generated, if there's like a... Oh, crap. Anyway, I'm not sure if it actually gets harder as you go along, or if you just, just keep going through randomly generated worlds. I think I am going to call it there so this video isn't too long, guys. But if you do have a DK2, you can definitely check this out. If you don't, if you have an iPhone, an 
Android phone or a Windows phone, you can go pick this game up for free. There is a paid version. I'm not sure of the difference. I haven't checked it out yet, but the paid version is only 99 cents. So go ahead and check that out as well if you don't have a DK2. If you do have a DK2, as always, I will leave links below for this, guys. And if you have any comments, questions, or game requests, please post them below as well. If you have Facebook or Twitter, hit me up on those. So uh, before we end here, I guess I will show you what happens if you do not collect bubbles. You, oh, there I go. I just blew up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.